I think all of us care way too much about our image, that we're trying to present something. Um, you know, evangelism is, is not an activity in which we're trying to present ourselves as finished products. But often the church is in a very safe place where we can be open about both the, we can be open about the joys, but sometimes we're nice, we can't be very open about our struggles. I, I, one of the things I emphasize is the cross. Because when you look at the cross, what do you see? We all sent him to the cross. The cross is not a subtle symbol. It is a symbol that says, you really have a problem or I wouldn't have had to have my son die. One of my concerns is that we live in a Christian culture that almost thinks it's a sin to admit we're sinners. So that's where we've got to start, is that we've got to understand the theology of the cross and recognize, as D.T. Nile says, the Sri Lankan, that we truly are um, uh, one beggar sharing with another beggar where we found bread. And that needs to be evidenced in the church. So we're going to have to get over this problem of image and the lack of authenticity. And we need to be able, one of the things I say in the church that's hurting us is the heresy of niceness. You know, now that I belong to Jesus, I just never have a bad day. I just swing from one victory to the next. It's not real. You know, there has to be real reality. Now, we're not glorifying sin. We have the power of the Holy Spirit. We do need to overcome. But you can't overcome what you refuse to admit. So there's the tension is it has to be real, it has to be authentic, and that leads us to the power of overcoming. That attracts real people, people that are hurting and suffering. They can see, they need to see in the church, this is a place of real life. Overcoming, yes, but overcoming because there's the freedom to admit what isn't right.